Greetings, my beautiful viewers, and welcome to the third birthday. Oh boy, extra. There's extra. Oh, okay. Dick. Config. Um. Yeah, I, uh, this was the first in the whole series that I ever played. Of the Parasite Eve series, obviously. So, I am definitely interested to, like, you know, finally go back and, like, see what this game was really about and everything now that I have the context of the other couple of games. So, yeah, um, as I said before, I, I, I do actually remember, like, the big twist in the game, but I won't spoil it for you. It's the only thing I remember is, like, the big twist at the end of the game, which... I'm hoping maybe, like, by playing this again, I'll, I'll actually understand it, because I didn't understand it before. So maybe I will this time. But either way, yeah, um, I think it's best just to jump right in, because I complained enough about this game at the end of my Parasite, uh, well, no, I complained enough about the second game at, you know, like, you know, and how horrible it was when I finished it. So we're just going to jump right in and <laughs> kind of hope for the best. What? It just wants to start me on hard mode. Now I'm going to go normal. Because I am not a masochist. I don't think so anyway. Square Enix. Hey, they put the Statue of Liberty back. December 24th, Manhattan. Tonight is Christmas Eve, and the snow should last until morning. The skies are presenting New York City with a white Christmas. Yay! The holiday season brings a change of scenery, as office workers are out of their suits and in festive outfits. With the latest... Mommy? Marilyn's. What is it, dear? Do you want to go home? Mm -hmm. There's been a fire on 52nd. Casualties are being sent off. 10-4. What's your location? Oh, what? That is a building falling over. No way! Wh wh why are there giant tentacles? Is no one questioning the giant tentacles? Fuck! Oh God! That is a way. That is. That is how I would describe that. Yeah. Well, there goes the statue again. Oh, apparently you're not even safe on the ocean. Is this the mitochondria? The third birthday. Dun dun dun. Yeah, no shit. Roger that. From here on out, we refer to it as the Babel. The Babel. Like the Tower of Babel? That was made by people trying to reach God? Odd choice. No, well, they definitely look like mitochondria creatures. Episode Zero, Sacrifice. Apparently we're... Two thousand thirteen. 
Aya Brea, CTI Special Agent. What's CTI? Watch closely. Knowing your enemy will make your job easier. Hide Boar. I didn't say easy. I said easier. Sir, my mission? Rally with the National Guards and aid in the destruction of the Big Ore. Yes, sir. Now I know how a father feels in this kind of situation. No soldier has seen the heart of the Babel and come back to tell his tale. Thelonious Cray. Well, you know the basics. Now, let's see how you do. I didn't know you had a daughter. For all you know, I don't. Okay, okay, got it. Back to work. Reprogramming codes, I can do. But you're the only one who can reprogram the past. What? Do it for all of us. Well, what do you say, Aya? Doctor Blank? Does he not have a first name? Any more pressure. Is that understood? During an overdose, if your soul dies, you can't return to your body. Okay. Which means, technically, you die. That, that is how that would you work. Stay on your toes at all times. So, you're sending a rookie, huh? That's comforting. Wait, why would she be a rookie? She's definitely, like, not a rookie. She's done stuff like this before. Everything we know is at stake here. Ever expanding research budget, overall safety of the planet, every last thing. I can do it. Well, that's good because I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I will. I know that like we go back into the past from the future to solve incidents. Like you know, before they happen, basically. And I do this by like taking over other people's bodies. Somehow. Aya, can you hear me? You're in the past. I have an idea. Yes, okay. So normally you would actually use the, the sacrifice incident from a year ago. It's the area where the babel appeared. Okay. In case you're wondering, you're inside a National Guard, Aya, but your body is still inside the CTI building. We're going to get you started. Oh. That's how I switch. Okay. The troops involved in the sacrifice incident were annihilated. It's been reported that they ran into some enormous twisted called Reapers. I can tell you how, one how thing. do I reload? We're gonna be a huge pain. First, we need to get our hands on any information we can. The final goal is to destroy the Babel's core, the big orb. Rookie, here's a refresher. Okay. Okay, I tap to reload. Use this to lock on to targets. But I switch this so that like I like my left stick is also my directional buttons. So yeah, it makes it easier. Wait, what's this? Ammo recharge. Oh, that's nice. The twisted are approaching. Okay, show them what you learned in training. Okay. I got BP! Bounty points! Bounty points are back. Oh, joy. Yeah! 
Yeah, you can like fuck him up by doing that. Yeah, this was originally on the PlayStation Portable, so graphics are a little limited, but still pretty good. Keep transferring from vessel to vessel to maintain an advantage during battle. Hey there, Dave. Listen up, Aya. There are things for you to find out there. You can use them as shields. Overdive near those objects to avoid getting hit while fighting. Got it? Okay, I'll automatically crouch when I go near one. Okay. I'm not a big fan of a uh, fan of this guy. I'm gonna go back to Dave. I like Dave. What the? This is an area where a lot of people lost their lives in battle. Look at all those twisted. L where? I guess it's your turn, Craig. All right, rookie. You have no chance taking them head on. Overdive to the enemy's blind spots and kill them all. Don't know what that linkage was about. Bam! If enemies are giving you trouble, go ahead and use crossfire. It'll make all nearby soldiers focus on the target you want them to take out. Ah, okay. Wonder what this must look like to the soldiers, like, like, wow, Jessen just suddenly got real badass, I guess. Use overdive kill. I'll allow it. But what about Aya's condition? Just do it. Overdive kill is a powerful attack that allows you to dive into an enemy and implode it from inside. Catch the enemy off guard and you'll do massive damage. <laughs> Yeah, that I've been doing for a while because I remember that one. Entering combat zone.
Oh, what happened to that guy? We did it! The National Guards are regaining ground. Rendezvous with the troops and keep going. Her vitals are irregular. I'm going in. We need to get her back. No, keep going. Changing the past might change the outcome of future battles. You got it, Aya? I don't know why she doesn't talk much. Focus on the target. Like, I feel like this liberation thing, like, like it has to do something, right? Yay! Level up is finally back. That's nice. I'm going in. Oh yeah! Bam! Aya, use liberation. I guess there's no other option. What's liberation? Liberation eradicates anything withholding your powers while greatly improving your reflexes. But there's a huge risk involved. It drains your energy. So if you're attacked when it's over, you won't have the strength to... You can do this. Okay. Okay, energy shot. Hey, energy shot's back! I like that. Pretty cool. I, they're, they're giving me unlimited of it right now to give it a try. I didn't mean to skip that. Why am I not seeing any of this? Hey, that's the cutscene from the beginning. I really should have chosen warmer clothes. Okay. 
I had zero deaths. Only two soldier deaths. That's good. A new handgun is available for purchase. Okay. Cool. Episode one. Operation Rainbow Dust? Really? Operation Rainbow Dust? Episode one. A brand new world. December 24th. 2013, present day. <laughs> That's a gun. What is that? Why do I live in a prison cell? Am I a prisoner now? When did this happen? Dream again. Am I a prisoner? I feel like I might be a prisoner. I am so confused. Who are you really? I just... Oh, she has a wedding ring. <laughs> you were having that dream again, weren't you? Is there another mission? The boss is gone. <laughs> and the FBI branch? They're gone as well. Are you sure? You're no longer under observation. We're moving you out of the cell into a room. This way. Oh! That's not necessary. I'm just looking out for you. You need to rely on me a little more. Do you think you'll be able to do something like that? I don't even know who you are. I'd rather not. Okay, that's fair, yeah. She being smart! Stop being so hard on yourself. <laughs> I don't know if you realize this, but... You don't need a past in order to have a future. So apparently something happened where she doesn't remember what happened. Like, you know... Like, there's a certain point where her memory's cut off. Cheat codes. Challenge codes. Assist codes. Oh, these are just part of the game. Status? Okay. Assault rifle, shotgun, launch. Where do I spend BP? Hello, sir. I have first try accessing the main monitor. Okay. Prepare for your mission in the briefing menu. You can change your weapon and protective gear. When you're ready, start the mission. Okay. Control I as genetic energy to acquire and enhance over energy. Over energy is a special ability I unleashes during battle. It can have various effects. I, I don't know what this does. Weapon bank. Okay. Change weapons here. Change your buy weapons. Okay, like, I'm guessing these are like starting weapons. Okay. Sure. Why not? I literally have nothing else. Yay! I have a handgun. W pow, B pow. Episode zero, all chapter. Okay, there's that, but then there's this, and this. Like. That's better defense. Why would I not wear that? Why, why would I not? Okay, um... DNA no mutations. Okay. Um... I guess I would just have these now? Oh, so healing is now level 3 because of that. Okay. Um... And that 
that's level two, I guess. Why is that orange? Is that just because it's new, I guess? I'm not a hundred percent sure. For that, oh, it makes it go away, oh, okay. No, we don't want that. The data board one? Okay, I guess I can have other data boards. Yeah, I'm 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 a save. I miss Parasite Eve one. I really miss Parasite Eve one. Over to into the past to get your mission underway. Uh, Twisted appeared at Club Sacrifice mid concert. On secret military orders, the local National Guards mobilized immediately to rescue the concert goers. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> Just skip all the formalities, I guess! The past. Overdrive. At the very least, I made all the characters really hot. The objective is to destroy the Babel's core, the big ore. What is it? It started. Oh, oh my god! That guy exploded! Oh, fuck me! Yeah, sorry, miss. Um, I'm alive. <laughs> oh, that lady isn't, though. Wait, wh where is the blood going? Where did the blood go? I'm so confused. Oh, attack its weak point for massive damage. Run. Run? I thought my job was to kill the thing. Focus on the target. 
Backups on their way. Stay strong. I'm going in. Oh, it's got like several health bars. Oh my god. Focus on the target. Eat it! Well, that didn't help me at all. I'm going in. Open wide. What? Sorry, buddy. I'm out. Focus on the Bam! I am Philip. <laughs> Wait, there's a camera guy up there? Just like some random camera guy? Bam! Okay. I'm going in. You like making people explode? Well, it's my turn. Oh. Oh, I thought it was going to explode. Okay. Countless numbers of sections are created as the battle grows. Either the twisted or the orbs have to be destroyed in order for us to move forward. Okay, that is pretty cool. So, what are the twisted? Like, this feels like a question that should be answered. Hey, leave Oswald alone. He's three months away from retirement. Oh, no. Yay! One thing I remember about this game is that it's not terribly difficult. Looks like we're the only ones left alive. 
Yes, Rodrigo. Uh, you and uh, Oswald Karst were definitely the only ones left. Don't worry, uh, uh, Rodrigo. We will kill them together as friends and partners. Maybe lovers. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what this person knows. I got hand grenades. I haven't used any of them yet. Uh, Rodrigo? Don't worry, Rodrigo. I'm on it. Danger. Oh, ow. Oh. Ow. Did I get him? Oh no. Rodrigo, you were way back here letting me do all of the work? You bitch. How dare. How dare, Rodrigo. <laughs> Oswald is very disappointed in you. Oswald isn't angry. He's just disappointed. This is where you can restock. What? There are temporary points where you can restock items. Don't forget to pick up the weapons and ammo you need, or you'll end up regretting it. Okay. okay. Yeah, I can customize. Weapon level is too low. Need weapon level two. Okay. I'm just gonna customize my handgun to be the most powerful thing in the fucking world. No way! I promised Jennifer I built her a house. Is that your wife, sir? She's white Pomeranian, the love of my life. Oh. A, a dog, sir? Doesn't matter who or what's waiting for you. As long as you have a reason to make it back home alive. Okay. Captain? Where Where is the captain? Captain, you and I, I, I you and I are on the same page, bro. <laughs> Do I go into the past in another instance? Because it says the past overdrive. Do do I go into the past in a in another way? Hmm. Who's there? What is it? It's a survivor. Is it? It's just like my dream. Does she not remember Eve from the second game? Or is this supposed to be Maya? I'm picking up a giant tremor. Bible's changing. Wait. in this area. They have to be destroyed in order to get to the next area. There are twisted everywhere. Be careful, Aya. So 
Focus on the target. See this captain and I, he, uh, he and I are on the same wavelength, man. If I had to go off and fight for my life, I know that I'd be fighting hard to come home to my kitties. Where am I go going? Yeah, in this game, there really isn't much of healing other than just, like, um, when, uh, when you do an overdrive, you uh, sometimes get health, and uh, you switch to uh, other um, characters. Well. Use overdrive to eliminate all enemies in the area. Handgun's actually pretty powerful. I have saved you, random citizen! Alright, let's go, Duncan Dodson! You beautiful, beautiful man! You and your love for your Pomeranian shall carry us through!
Okay. So, not sure how much longer this mission is, but I do think this is probably the best place to cut it for this first episode here. Ooh, boy. I'm gonna have to use, like, all of the other guns and everything to make them more powerful, which is gonna take a while. But, either way, thank you everybody so much for watching. I appreciate you being here with me. See, you know what the key difference is between the second game and this game? Yeah, it has a lot of the same problems, like, you know, nothing characters, the story doesn't really make sense and doesn't explain itself well, but it's fun to play. There is that. I am having so much fun playing it, and that in and of itself makes a huge difference. So, thanks again, everybody. And, as always, if you enjoyed this as much as I did, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe it if you're not already. Or ring the bell for all the notifications is. And until next time, have yourselves a beautiful day, my beautiful, beautiful viewers. Hey there, if you enjoyed this video, why don't you consider subscribing to my Patreon so I can keep making awesome videos like the one you just saw. The link will be in the description below, and as always, have yourselves a beautiful, beautiful day.